Hey there, my crafty friends. My name is Letitia Finder, and welcome to my channel. This card tutorial is a part of the Creative Arts Collaboration monthly hashtag event for September. The hashtag is hashtag lovefallart. Be sure to check out the other videos by searching the hashtag in the YouTube search box. Alright, so for this card, you'll need a card base, obviously. I'm just using some white recollections cardstock. And I've cut this uh, to an A2 size card and scored it myself. And so it's four and a quarter by five and a half. You also need a mat. And I'm just using, using some scrap um, pattern paper that I had. I'm actually not quite sure what the brand is or who it's by, what it's called. Um, it was just given to me with some other scraps and some other paper um, by my mom and you really don't have any clue because it was just a scrap, so <laughs> it just fits so well with the card. So actually, if you guys have any clue, um, in case anybody's interested in using this particular paper, uh, maybe you can go ahead and leave a comment down below and let us know. <laughs> and this is actually cut to uh, four inches by five and a quarter. Okay, and then you need some more white cardstock to put your sentiment and leaves on. And I have this cut to four and a half inches by four and a half inches. All right, so that's for your card, your base. You also need some leaves. Now, for the hashtag event, my first video was actually how to paint these leaves with watercolor, so how to draw and paint them. And I will link this video in the description box below. I'll also put um, an I card right in this spot so that you can just click on it there if you'd like. Um, if you have maybe some stamps, some leaf stamps that you'd like to use, be my, you know, be my guest. That's a great way to do it, and then you don't have to take the time to draw and paint them. You can color them however you like. So that's an option. And all I've done is cut them out. You'll also need uh, your heat embossing supplies. I'm using Versamark to stamp. And then also using Recollection Sparkle Embossing Powder in clear gold. You'll also need your stamps. <laughs> and I'm using um, these Recollection uh, letters. And I'm also using my Martha Stewart um, little mini uh, letters. Um, aside from that, you need some adhesive. You're going to need some foam adhesive and just some regular adhesive. I'm using double-sided tape because I don't have to wait for it to dry. <laughs> you guys know I love my double-sided tape. Um, and I believe that's it. Oh, and for heat embossing, you also need your heat gun or your heat tool. So to start, I'm just going to set my um, card base and my mat to the side. Because we're going to be working on the um, the sentiment right now, and to start that off, and just we're going to be heat embossing it. So I'm just going to use my anti-static bag. Um, I just purchased this at Michael's. Uh, it's by Recollections. All right. So now I'm going to go ahead and start stamping my sentiment. And this says "falling, falling into you." Um, in the bigger um, in the bigger letters and then four is in my tiny Martha Stewart letters. All right so I just ink that up with some Versamark. I'm just turning this to the side because I find it's easier for me to stamp this way when I'm trying to center something. So I'm just going to try to get that in the center as best I can. That looks uh, about right. Just stamp it down. Pull it off. Yep, that looks like a really clean stamp. Okay, now I'm going to go in with the four. Stamp that up with some bursa mark again. And with these stamps, I tend to get a little bit um, on the edges whenever I ink them up. 
So I kind of just scrape that off with my nail just so that when I press down, I'm not getting any, you know, kind of where I don't want to. And I'm just going to attempt to get this in the middle. You can always emboss this or like put the powder on it and then do this, but um, I'd prefer to just do it all at once. So I'm going to try to get that right in the middle. Hopefully that was good. Oh yeah, that looks great. And then I'm just going to grab some, some plain printer paper here, put my sentiment, or my, um, yeah, my sentiment on top. I'm just going to sprinkle that embossing powder on it. And also when I'm embossing, I tend to keep a dry paintbrush by me somewhere, um, especially with the, this embossing powder, the sparkle embossing powder because I tend to get some where I don't want it. And the easiest way to get that off is to just brush it off with a dry brush. And <laughs> I'm gonna let you in on a little secret here in a moment. Just let me get this embossing powder back in to the container. got a little bit loose. Just brush that off. All right, so when I was stamping this, you can see that, I'm trying to show you, that this is actually an upside down J because um, the, the letters that I have didn't have double letters, so I didn't have two L's. And I wanted to stamp it all at once and not, you know, have to guess about spacing and whatnot. So I did this. And my little trick for this is I just have my Versamark stamp pad and a clean and dry brush and I'm just going to stamp the brush in there a tiny bit. And this has worked for me a few times just to, I'm just going to brush it in between the lines there. Um, yeah, so this has worked for me a few times if I've ever needed to touch up something I've been trying to um, emboss. You see? Now it matches the L. And you can also go in and again with the dry brush fix anything that might look a little bit off. Or if you get any anywhere else that you don't want it. So that's a pretty good tip, you guys. <laughs> okay, let me cap this. And you do have a few stray, stray ones here. So see, I'm just kind of evening it out a little bit so that it completely matches the L. And there we go. Now uh, I'm just going to go off camera for a moment and actually heat set it um, because I can't do that at my desk. So <laughs> I'll be back in just a moment. All right, so all I've done is heat embossed it and I'm back. <laughs> I love this embossing powder. It looks like it's foiled and I think that's just really beautiful. Okay, so now we get to put the card together. And Normally I would put things on here first and then adhere everything on, but we're going to take a chance today only because <clears throat> the leaves are going to be covering a lot, um, all, all the, all three layers. So it's just easier to stick them all on and then go, you know, go from there. So I've already stuck some double-sided tape on the back of these. So let's stick this on first. There's actually some really 
really nice weather today. It actually feels like fall today, and it is my favorite time of year. So <laughs> I'm a happy camper today. My birthday is actually coming up, so it's just a good time of year overall for me, I think. <laughs> My birthday is September 30th, so it's actually, you know, just around the corner. Okay, um, just going to center it as best I can. Press it down. Oops. And again, do the same thing. <laughs> I'm just going to center it and stick it down. There we go. Alright, so now it's time for us to get our leaves on here. Now, for all of these leaves, I've already stuck um, some foam adhesive on the back of them. And I've also already added um, some black liner. So I've used my black Copic Multi Liner around the edges of these just to make them stand a little bit more, make them look more like a stamp. It makes it look a little more professional. Um, if I was using maybe something a little thinner other than watercolor paper, I probably wouldn't have done this. Um, just because it's a really thick paper, it does. Uh, stand out quite a bit. So I'm just going to show you how I did that because I didn't do it to this one so that I could show you. And I just have my brush multi liner from Copic in black and I'm just going to go right along the edge like so. This is just a really easy way to put your cards or make your cards look uh, more professional or cleaner. I guess is a, is a good way to put it. Okay. Just a really quick, easy thing to, to do. All right, so that's done. Okay. So now we're going to rearrange or arrange them on the paper. This one I haven't put any foam adhesive on the back of it because I'm going to place it here and then cut around. So it's going to get cut off um, just like this. So this one actually isn't going to be popped up. So I'm going to do that one first, just because I know I'm going to have to kind of cut it off there. And I want it about there, covering that whole corner. I'm just going to flip that over and trace that corner so that I know exactly where I'm cutting. I'm just going to cut that on out. And I'm doing it this way just so that the sentiment kind of looks like it's floating in among and behind the leaves. I think it's just a really cool look. And again, with my double sided tape to adhere it.
<laughs> I'm having trouble with the tape again. There we go. And I'm going to just stick it in the corner. Very easy to just line it up. And stick it down. There we go. And these guys I'm just going to place kind of in here and in here. I think that looks great. Okay. And I'm just going to peel off the foam adhesive. And just a little tip for the stems of the leaves. All I've taken, all I've done is taken um, my square foam adhesive and I've cut it in half or cut it to the size that will fit the little stem because the stem needs support or else, you know, it might break off because it's fairly thin. It needs that, uh, it needs that extra support. Okay, I'm just going to stick that right here. And then this one is going to go in that corner. Now you could keep that in mind when you're making the leaves, if you're not using a stamp, to try to keep this a little thicker. That can be kind of tricky to do. Um, but you do what works for you. Okay. Alright, and there you have it. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more from me, you can click that subscribe button below and you'll be notified whenever I post a new video. If you make anything using this or any of my other tutorials, be sure to share them with me. I'd love to see them. You can keep in touch with me through my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, so don't be shy. Also, if you have any requests for videos, please feel free to let me know in the comments below. I hope you guys have a lovely day, and until next time, my crafty friends.